today for me is going to be a memory forever. You know, to be here with you guys, oh. enjoying some of my food, always will stay with me. And it's the important thing about the book. No, I want people to create memories. Create memories when you are cooking some recipes from here and you bring your friends, your family. <laughs> that canelon or that tortilla or that croqueta, that will be always with us. <laughs> so and it's all about that. I know. This is this the, the lentils with chorizo and potatoes. This is not any stylist there. That is the picture of the lentils my mom was cooking and bring out to the photo shoot. Oh my goodness <laughs> me, wow. And I have to say, she can, apart than half of the recipes in the book are from her, then I think I need to pay to her some, uh, yeah. some realities. Yeah. So you've been here for 22 years. How come you came here and what was your first day here like? I came to Gagwick. I never was uh, before in the UK. And a friend of mine, she was waiting for me. And I land in Gatwick. Well, I don't land with the train. I arrive in Gatwick and just saw the people around me. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I want to stay here. I don't know why. But what, what was Victoria, your intention? Sorry, in Victoria. What was your intention coming here? My intention was, like everyone say, to learn a little bit of English. Right. And still a lot to learn. Tha, 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 tha. You know my accent, as you know. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, no, thank you, my love. But I just want to learn a little bit more. The food in Spain at that time was not as diverse as was here in the UK. Right. In Madrid, even was not Chinese, maybe one Chinese. Yeah, you talk about vegetarianism as well. Yeah. Hardly, and, um, hardly heard of. Yeah. It's, it was so much things going on here than, than was nothing in Spain, really. So so you came for a, what? A, six months. Six, so you came for six months initially yeah. to learn mostly English and maybe get a job somewhere as well? Or? It was difficult for me. I was, when I left Madrid, I was HS in one Michelin star. Nothing to, but I mean, Stan, I knew about cooking, I think. But it was so difficult for me to get a job because I didn't speak any English at all. For me, it was like, um, I'm looking for a job. And, and looking for a job. And uh, people was like, mm. and some people say, okay, come, your, your CV is amazing. But in a kitchen, it was difficult to, to cook with my, with my English. So 